Sally is now starring on Broadway in an all-female version of The Odd Couple. What is it about The Odd Couple that attracted you to want to do this part? It was work. I wanted to do The Odd Couple because it was the first work that had been offered to me in a year and a half. And I needed and wanted to work so desperately as an artist and as a homeowner with financial responsibilities that when it was offered to me, I jumped at the chance, even though it was an offer that came with a lot of uh, setbacks for me emotionally. Going on the road was not something I was looking forward to doing. Uh, being separated from my family and my friends and my pets and living in New York, if the play was a hit, was not something I was really looking forward to. But it was employment, and I had to do it. How is it that you couldn't get work? I would think they'd be knocking your door down. I don't know. It's the strangest phenomenon to be at the top of the mountain and the next day be to the bottom, but you didn't feel the fall. The photo they used in the encyclopedia. I saw my name 12 across in the TV guide, guide crossword puzzle. I called my mother. I said, I've made it. I was in a crossword puzzle. Do you ever see Gene Stapleton? Gene Stapleton came in Baltimore to my opening night when the, the Odd Couple was in Baltimore. And then we played for two months in Los Angeles. And again, she was in the audience in Los Angeles. What did she say? She calls me daughter, and she puts her <laughs> arms around me, and she says, I am so proud of you, daughter. And I call her mom. And people love that we do that uh, off screen. I'll see her across a crowded room at a Hollywood cocktail party, and I yell, Ma! And she goes, daughter! And we run, and people go, oh, it makes them feel so warm and happy. <laughs> Jean Stapleton, at the time she was Edith Bunker, had a cause that we're all aware of, and that was the Equal Rights Amendment. Um, a lot of us know that you're affiliated with the Christian Children's Fund. Tell us about that. Christian Children's Fund has been around so long, and it's so big, and it's uh, so revered. It's the world's oldest and largest child welfare organization. How did you get involved? What happened? My grandmother. She was sponsoring children. And when All in the Family went on the air and was a big hit, and I was making more money in one week on All in the Family than I made in a month as a secretary. I was looking through a magazine and I thought, I've got to share this with somebody. I have been seeing your picture, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers have too, in various magazines for the CCF. But now we have Live Aid and Band Aid, and people have been starving for a long time. Is it in vogue, and will it stay in vogue to help those people some? The musicians around the world have brought an awareness to world hunger that's been needed for many years. And there are little children now that are aware of popular music. My daughter is six. She loves Rod Stewart. She loves Springsteen. She listens to the radio. That's her example now as she's growing up. So what we're doing is we're creating a whole generation of children who in another 10 to 20 years will be income earners and will be in a position to help, to send money, to organize things, and to care. And they will because they saw it and it was put in that computer as a child. So it's a wonderful thing. It's very cathartic to play a character that's so close to yourself because you don't normally get all of the feelings out that you're feeling about your own life. But on stage, for me to play a woman whose marriage just broke up and she's worried about her children and she doesn't know what she's going to do with her life is good for me because it gets all my feelings out about that too. How long were you married? I was only married five years. Florence Unger in the play has been married 14. And, uh, Although five years felt like 14, I was married to a psychiatrist. That was scary. I'm very emotional. I'm an actress. I'm emotional. If I laugh, I laugh hard. If I cry, I cry hard. I do everything hard and loud and big. And my husband was very controlled. And when we would get into an argument, the louder I'd get, the quieter he'd get. And pretty soon, those psychiatric arms would cross that psychiatric chest, and he'd look down his nose at me, and he'd go, look at you. You're out of control. When you think you can get in control, why don't you come in the other room and talk to me? And I'd go, ah, 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 that always worse. makes you crazy. So it was not a marriage made in heaven, but the child was. Thank you, Sally. It's a pleasure meeting you. Hi, everybody in Boston. <laughs>